That's a good one. Oh yeah. That's a giant. Oh, another giant. Oh, stay on, baby. Good morning, bass heads. Welcome back to Lip Rivers TV. Beautiful Sunday morning today. Supposed to get up to around almost 60 today. So I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, a little windier than they were saying, but whatever. I'm gonna still go after them. So I'm out here on the James today and uh, hoping for a good bite. We got an outgoing tide. Water temperatures in the 47 degree range. And uh, hopefully we can do a little something today guys so i'm gonna start off with some jigs and run to a creek that i like a lot and try and get on them so y'all stick around i'm gonna try and bring y'all some fish all right guys spot number one hopefully this will turn out to be a decent day it would be nice be nice it's a big old giant today that'd be awesome that's not cool there you go uh-huh all right ah, nice little chunk right out the back guys ah, there we go not too bad I was sitting in some wind up front of the creek and it was just too windy up there and I just said, you know what, I gotta get out of this wind. I came to the back back here and went back here for about 10 minutes and got bit. Not a bad fish. Let's put them on a the scale, see what we can get for the day. All right. Let's go ahead and put him on. I'm gonna go with probably close to two pounds, right at two pounds. sitting up in this cluster of laydowns right here and I picked up on my jig and he was there I'd like to think there's another three or four of them in there that'd be awesome along with a giant who doesn't want a giant everybody wants a giant oh, come on Tag on it. That was a bite. Uh, There he is. All right. Number two. All right. Are you going to keep on getting it? Very, very active fish. Not that big, though. We're going to need a little bigger. Fish number two going on a scale. One sixty-seven. Let me see that. Sorry if you can't. It says one sixty-seven. So let's let him go. Nice fish. Later, dude. That was pretty cool. That fish actually came back and got it. He bumped it the first time, and then he came back and got it the second time. 
so I'm hoping that I'll be able to run across some fish that are stacked up today. That would be awesome. What the hell? Y'all see all them geese over there? It's like a thousand of them. That was weird. They all just left at the same time. There's a big one down there. He just had my jig. I thought I was on a lay down and then he thumped the crap out of it while I was in his mouth. He spit it right out. Dang it. Let's see if I can get him to bite it. He's there. At least I know he's there. All right, guys. Uh, midday update. Uh, got two fish in the boat. Uh, neither one of them are big ones but uh, it still counts for something. Had a few misses and had one decent one on, but didn't realize it was on until it was too late and he spit it out. But I'm gonna keep getting after it and try and see if I can't grind out some more fish. Uh, the tide is just starting to switch over to coming in now. And I'm gonna try and do something, try and switch it up here and try and catch a few. So I'm gonna get back after it. Oh, what's a big one? That's a big end. That's a big end. Oh yeah. Woo! That's a giant. Look at that one. Oh yeah. Oh, she's barely hooked. She's barely hooked. Ah! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Ah! Barely hooked too. Just fell right on out. Look at that. Oh! Man, that is a nice fish. Check out all them spots on that fish. Oh man, look at that. That is the most spotted up fish I think I've ever seen. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Oh yeah, let's get her on the scale. Yeah, baby. All right. Not an absolute giant, but definitely a nice fish. Three eighty-eight. I don't know if you can see that or not. Three eighty-eight. All right, I'll take that. Beautiful fish, man. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Man. Let her go. Nice and fat. See you later, dude. Man, I'm jacked now. There he is. Ah. I knew he was out there. Not a big one, but. We'll take them today. Not a giant, but I'll take them today. Let's put them on a scale. All right. One thirty. Y'all see that? One thirty. Huh. Wish it was bigger, but the way they're biting today has just been a real slow grind. So let's let him go. Later, dude. Oh, the last two fish come out of this one little spot right here. I actually missed one here this morning, and just caught two right here so that's a good one. Oh yeah that's a giant oh another giant oh hang on baby 
Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look at that. She absolutely choked it. Oh my god. That is awesome. Look at that. That is a stud. Oh, she freaking hammered it, man. That was awesome. Oh, let's get her on a scale, and then I'll tell y'all what happened. All right. Let's get her on there. All right, 460. If I can see that. I'm not sure. Man, that was awesome. All right. Let's get another look at her real quick. Man, beautiful, beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Man, awesome. Thank you, girl. You go make some babies. So I'm going to be back in a little and over the summer and catch, catch them. There she goes. All right, so what happened right there? Uh, you know, I had the camera off because I ain't got that much battery life left. So, I, you know, I only wanted to turn it on during hook sets or where I thought I was really in a good key area. You know, I was just burning down this riprap. I've been down it all day today. There's riprap underneath this water. Bunch of bunch of rock anyway, and uh, I had decided to just try and cover water to get to where I've been catching fish on laydowns and stuff. In order to do that, I was just throwing this uh, red eye shad, and what I was doing is I, I threw it up in about two foot of water and was letting it sink, you know let it sink and then slowly take it out the bottom while I hit a big rock, so I popped it real hard. And then I let it flutter down. As soon as I did that, she knocked the crap out of it. I mean, she put slack in my line and everything. So I, I set the hook on her, and that was her. That was pretty awesome, man. That was awesome. I really, <laughs> really liked that. I threw it out there just like that in that same spot. Let it sink. Started slowly reeling it, and then I hit a, a, a bigger rock down there, and I went like, oh, I'm hung. There it is. I went like that. That was the rock I hit. And as, I, as it fluttered back down, she knocked the crap out of it. So, and she was probably only in about four foot of water. That was awesome. That puts me up to my, my best five today, or like 13 pounds, I think. Not too bad. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, caught some pretty decent fish today. A few dinks in there, not dinks, I guess, but weren't nothing to you know brag about stuff in there. But that's this time of the year, man. It, it can be tough fishing right now, and it's been tough for the majority of the day. I mean, even given that I had a good tide, you know, I, I had five bites all day. Well, I had five fish, but I had more than five bites, and I didn't wasn't able to capitalize on a few of those bites because of the bite was so. I caught everything on a jig and they were just so, like there was a few times I didn't even know it was a fish. It was just tension on the line and you know, I, I just kept the tension until it moved and then it moved and I knew it was a fish and set the hook and get the fish in the boat. And, but a few of those fish that I missed was because of that. I didn't know it was a fish or not and by the time I realized it, they had spit it. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will be linking everything in the description below. Uh, all the rods reels and baits that i used today to catch the fish so i hope you guys enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit that like button leave a comment and i will see you guys next time be a bass head peace